Hey y'all, welcome back to Life on the Ridge. Uh, I'll make a quick video for you today showing you the uh, hanging feeder and waterer that we made. Before we get started, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. Uh, that just gives you notifications uh, so that you'll know when we post videos. Uh, doesn't cost a thing, but uh, click that and that helps the channel out as well. And if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Give them some snacks this evening. Might let them out and venture around a little bit. <clears throat> but uh, we uh, decided to make our own feeder and water, uh, hanging feeder and water. Uh, we already had uh, some buckets laying around, so we went and bought some pans. I did buy another bucket. Uh, so basically we've got, you know, 20 bucks and a feeder and a waterer. All right, so this one is the waterer. This is just like a, I think it's a 13 quart pan that we bought from the feed store. It's about three inches deep. Uh, and all, all you do on these hanging, now there's some that you can turn upside down and put your little hole at the top, but I wanted to be able to hang it because we move the uh, chicken tractor every day. We've got a hole that we drilled right here and uh, as you can see, the water's right below the top of the bowl here, or the pan. But uh, we drill one hole, as long as you have a tight seal on your lid, uh, it will never go too far above that hole right there. And uh, we just drilled that hole, you know, about an inch or so below the top of the pan on the bucket, because <clears throat> that's where we wanted the water to be. But it was really easy to do and then we just bolted the pan to the bucket and then on the feeder we uh i took a one and one eighths inch spade bit and drilled me four holes uh, kind of evenly spaced them around the bucket and uh you know as the chickens come in here and scratch and peck it'll uh, bring fresh food out so this is uh just a good way to uh not have to worry about coming out here and putting fresh feed in every day and water. You know, this can, hopefully this will last us, you know, maybe have to do it once a week or so. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. I've got a couple that's escaped. Also, I wanted to show you a uh, couple of modifications that we've made to the chicken tractor. I did add some tires to it, um, just to make it easier to pull because because this thing is really heavy, which I'm kind of glad because, uh, you know, I don't have to worry about the wind catching it and blowing it over. Uh, and now it's a lot easier to move. It's still got some weight to it, but uh, it's a lot, lot easier to move now that I've added some wheels to it. But like I said, it was just gonna be a quick video. And uh, just wanted to show you how we made the the uh, waterer and the feeder. Click that thumbs up button. Click that subscribe button. See you on the next one.